Okay, so we finished up the Kestrel with a loss, unfortunately. So I'm thinking about going to NG. Specifically here, NG B, because normally it's really bad. You just have the one uh, heavy ion and like a combat drone, I think. I'm pretty sure it's normally really bad. However, in uh, Supremacy here, it comes with three guns. It comes with a uh, Heavy Laser 2, which is two shots every eight seconds, a hull beam, and then the normal Heavy Ion. We also have Drone Reactor Booster, Eddy Medi or NG Medibot Dispersal, or Medbot, I guess there's no I there. Two crew instead of one, two repair bots, and an anti-personnel drone. So uh, the Vortex here is armed to the nines. Except we, uh, we don't have any weapon power to really run most of this stuff. So we're, we're stuck with a heavy laser until we can get enough scrap to level up this at least once for heavy ion. We do have level 2 medbay, which doesn't help with anything actually, but we have it. Uh, there's an outpost. Let's send an away party. We could sell fuel for scrap. That is, that's less than, uh half a scrap of fuel my dude and that's that's no good I'm gonna ignore that buy some fuel uh no we'll probably find well we'll definitely find fuel somewhere else I don't think there's really anything here unless there's something very very cheap I would have taken that that would be really nice I can't afford it anti bio beam drone I can't afford that doors drones and oxygen was that 51 for oxygen? Who in the world would buy that? There isn't even a ship that doesn't come with oxygen in this mod, I don't think. I haven't checked all the ships. There may be a Lana ship that doesn't have oxygen. So why is that even offered? I guess maybe if you're playing with cust- Oh, this is gonna be bad. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be able to get through this guy. Oh, that's, that's nasty. Thankfully, we do have uh, repair drones we can send everywhere. Okay, so their shields are offline. Um, yeah, they're going to pelt us really hard. We're not going to be able to dodge any of these shots. And they have system casing. Oh, great. Okay, you're gonna run into here. I need to see how they're doing. Only two guys on board. I think it may be better off to go for the weapons. Just, oh, the dodge chance is so high for them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything here. I think we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna eat these rounds and then they're gonna leave. There's nothing we can do. They're, they're just so, so strong. What is their evasion? I mean, I like to think it's 50, based on how many shots we've missed. But it's probably not 50. Jump in a minute. Yeah, they're gonna escape. I cannot escape before they do. Fleet Pursuit double for one jump. Not great. Well, uh, no, uh, no scrap there. We'll go to Distress Beacon and see if there's anything here. We are on fire. Oh my god. Okay, so maybe this ship... Like, I thought it was going to be great. I was like, yeah. Immediately two heavy lasers off the bat. How in the world am I going to get through these? I I'm going to try and fight him. Hopefully he boards. Oh, he boards. The He's an idiot. He's a complete maroon. If we just get the weapons offline, we should just be able to hammer weapons over and over. Did he... How fast is that charge? He got two shots through in eight seconds. I thought it was 4.5 seconds per shot. Hmm. Okay, so with FTL, there is a priority for the AI to repair stuff. They'll always repair the shields before they repair anything else. It's probably, I don't know if there's an exact order. It's 100% shields is first. I assume weapons is probably second and then this stuff. Though they may all be weighed evenly, I don't know, besides shields. But they'll always abandon their post to repair shields. Like, even so much so, I think if you have boarders on board, 
they'll at least have one guy try and go repair shields, even if you have a four-man boarding crew in one room. Now they got a fire. Yeah, he, he won't run in there. His health is too low. So, we probably just want to keep building. Yeah, another fire. It's pretty great. I don't know the chances, which is a little sad. I, I like knowing the chance of everything, really. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to kill him. Maybe. Yeah, we keep building him, maybe. Especially if we light another fire. Okay, so if he doesn't put the fire out, I, uh, he, he put it out really fast. Okay. Okay, so... No, I was thinking if the fire spreads, we could get a crew kill. We pro- well, hmm. The fire would have to spread up here, blow the oxygen up, all the fires would have to go out, and then he'd have to suffocate. But I don't think that's gonna happen. These two are gonna blow up first, and then we're just kinda boned. Oh no, he's gonna die in one hit, okay. How much he damage does the heavy laser do? Pick through the remains and contact the settlement. Uh, pirates are gone. We get three fuel seven missile seven scrap. And that should be enough to get us out of this hell. Actually, don't buy that. And deep power anti-personnel. Boot up heavy ion. That's still not the best exit from hell, but it's something. We're actually gonna be able to shoot through. I, I want hull beam. If we get hull beam, I think we'll be good. Um. Yeah, we'll explore the asteroid field. I don't know. Every mod changes what asteroid fields do. Sometimes the mod just goes like, oh, well, you take a bunch of damage or you get a bunch of money. Sometimes it throws you into the asteroid field to try and survive it. Sometimes the ship pops up. Really, anything can be in this asteroid field, but we have a lot of health. So, uh, pop in and we get a little bit of money. Okay. That, that's always the wrong button. It's always gonna be the wrong button. But we actually get enough money to fully escape hell. There we go. Hull beams online. Now we just have to land a laser and we'll be fine. Sooner I can more or less... Be this heavy ion is pretty bad. I mean, I haven't checked the stats comparatively if it's... I think it's still just a normal heavy ion. But I don't have any supplemental ion to help it. So right now, it's pretty bad. If I get an ion... Well, if I get the ion drone from last time, I don't even need the heavy ion. That one ion drone should be fine. And we will attack the pirate. Though he's got cloaking and shields. Or, yeah, like over shields here. This is gonna be bad now. I think that he's gonna be shooting a lot of rounds at the same time. We just gotta get the first first one in. Take out his uh Oh uh, that well it doesn't matter. Okay, well there goes my lovely, lovely med bay. Come on. Get him in there. Okay, we hit the anti-shield drone. That doesn't help. And we will, uh, oh, that is a humongous hull beam. Holy hell. This is going to do quite a bit of damage because he's got system casing. They always have system casing. Who buys them system casing? And where can I buy it? Okay, for some reason they depowered that to power up the anti-drone. Not exactly the move I would go for, but uh, sure, shoot for the stars, I guess. And we definitely want to try and get that same shot, which we may have to do it from up here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I can do it one way, not the other. Okay, so everything's offline. They're pretty boned now. I should turn off auto fire, considering these don't line up at all. It's just going to cause me some heartache in the future. And that should be the end of them. Bye bye, Pirate Rigger. Thank you for the 19 scrap. It was not all that great. Uh, we should probably buy a power bar. Hmm. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna save it for shields too. It's only 30 scrap for the second layer of shields. But we're gonna need it with how hard these guys are hitting so early. Okay, if he, yeah, he just has a laser, or uh, not a laser, but a missile. That should be fine. I'll, I'll eat a missile to just wipe him out. I didn't even need to eat the missile. How high is the, uh, the chance for stuff on all my weapons? It, it seems really high. I'm getting fires and hull breach. Yeah, there's another fire. Hull breach is left and right. It's pretty nice, which means the enemies also have the exact same chance, which means I'm pretty bummed. Oh, a breach and a fire in the same room. Sorry, dude. You're not making it out of this one. <laughs> oh, the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL drive. It's trying to escape. He says as he's crumbling to dust before our eyes. A repair burst. Does this actually repair my ship, though? No, it's only system damage. That that changes. Like, well, there's probably one called hull repair, like a hull repair bomb. I I pronounce that horribly. I'm pretty sure there's. Well, I know in mods there have been hull repair bombs where it takes two missiles to repair two or three hull, which is good because I usually have an excess of missiles because I don't really use missile weapons. I like having. Uh, stuff that I know is going to work every time. Like, I know I'm going to shoot two lasers no matter how many times I miss, because I miss a lot. The only uh, thing I don't do that with is drones, because when I send my first drone part out, it does stay there for a really long time. <laughs> it's not like the missile where uh, if, if you miss so many missiles, you're just boned. You only really need one drone part per battle most of the time, which is nice. I'm up to 70 scrap. I could get to that store, but I do think it's worth spending the $30 just to get level 2, and I can try and depower some stuff here to get shields up if I need shields. Uh, distress signal. It's a trap. It's pirates. I actually have level 2 piloting, so I don't even have to care. Um, if I depower this in oxygen, I'm going to be better off. If it charges fast enough, that is. Okay, um, we're going to try and take out drone control. Nope, did not work. How strong is his mind control? Okay, that's offline, so we can take out the weapons, the mind control, why not? It is level 2 mind control. I, was, I was thought it was only going to be level 1. It's a, well, I was going to say it's a bit early to be seeing level 2 mind control, but anything can be seen here. It's really a roulette. It, it could be anything. I wouldn't be surprised to see someone with somehow having, like, uh, three Vulcans. Uh, he's trying to escape, but he is on fire, and most of his ship is destroyed at the moment. Oh, that is bad news for you, dude. I would evacuate that room very quickly. And they're down. Oh, yep. Do not forget. Always remember, repower your oxygen after a battle. Anti-ship beam drone 2. Okay, I'll definitely take that. Only it needs 2 power. And repeatedly attacks the ship with a large beam. Does it pierce? I don't know how you can tell how much damage. Because I, it all depends on if it does damage. If it does two damage, it will pierce shields. I don't know if that pierces shields, though. Because we don't know how much damage it does. Um... I think we're going to try and go one more jump without any upgrades. Head into the shop with hopefully 60 scrap. Black marker. No, 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 no. I'm not dogging with any pirates. I'm not that stupid. Okay, he's got burst laser in Mark II, and he's gonna, like, annihilate me with his stupid. Uh. Like, because he's got this. He's got this shield mostly. And these weapons are gonna. They're gonna be tough. I'm not going to be able to get him down 
quick. We can depower the shields. Repower the shields. They're going straight on the weapons. But this should, uh... This should let me keep my beam up so you won't have any shields to deal with next time. And I can power this. Fortunately, I did not power it quick enough. Come over here, repair up my weapons. We want the hull laser. Or the heavy laser. And I guess, uh... He did just shoot another ion, didn't he? So we'll depower this. Power that up. Drone is offline. Which means you should probably be in here. I forgot I left you in that room. And we're gonna try and heavy laser right in on, uh... His weapons. We missed the weapons. Not great. Hopefully our stuff is gonna charge before his next shot lands. Or he's able to shoot again. But no, no, he's definitely gotta shoot. He's already fully charged. So we'll put up shields. Two of these. Is that going for weapons? That may be going above weapons. But just in case, we'll rearrange. Yeah, that's going for med bay. Both missed. That is awful. My dude, you gotta land a shot every now and then. Like, just one. Right in oxygen, and you stunned my repair drone. Not cool. Wow, we cannot land a hit. Okay, thankfully, thankfully. That's what the hull beam's for. What? This is stuck on my mouse now. <laughs> I'm not I'm not holding down anything, it's just stuck. I have to click to fix that. Okay, so we'll repair that up. We'll leave this on fire, who cares? Because instead we're gonna power up shields. Not that shields could get charged fast enough, unfortunately. Should have uh charged them a little sooner, that's my own bad. Uh, another round through the shield or the weapons you're trying to escape and it's actually charged well it was charging there for a second I guess someone was here walk through to here I guess that's what they did they could have went this way maybe I don't know Can never tell hull beam like this and they're done for turn oxygen back on uh, automated reloader. I'll take that every day of the week. Now, wait for uh, our drone to slowly repair our stuff. I could go for some more crew. At least, probably two more crew. I want one guy on weapons and probably one guy on sensors or doors. I don't really care about shields. I don't think shields are all that great. Oh, we do need to power our engines to leave. Uh, let's turn all that off, turn shields back on, jump to the store and see what they're selling. There's only one ship and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message. Greetings travelers, we are crippled by pirates and now you gotta buy our stuff. Can do, my good sir. A Dabney? A go oh, he's a ghost, they're not they're not uh, holograms, they're ghosts. <laughs> the nebulous belong or beings are, s if I can read this, I I'm just making uh, it up. I just see words, I just make it up. No, it's, these nebulous beings are spirits of the dead, still cling to the realm of the living. But they're the exact same as holograms. 50 health, immune to suffocation. So I, I don't know why, they're really cheap. Which, well, no, no, they're all cheap, actually. <laughs> so I, I don't know why, if you go with ghosts, why not go with, like, just, just take a mantis and recolor it black and make it a spider. Make it this giant space spiders and just give it a couple unique events. Just give it the exact same stats as the mantis. Just make them black. They're spooky spiders. Well, this isn't exactly the weapons I want to see. That is the drone I did want to see. Oh, baby, Ion 2. Electric Boogaloo. So we'll sell that. We'll sell this. Um, I really like that. It's very handy because I don't have to walk my eyes back to the med bay. We'll sell this. 
We're definitely buying Ion too. Only question is, where does it go? It's it's got to replace the repair drone. We we don't have anyone strong enough to fight borders right now. So goodbye, repair drone. I'm sorry. May have wanted to hold on to him for the future. Maybe I don't know. Mind control would probably be pretty good, but we need to power up our stuff and get some power here. My, my power is still very low. I, I'm not adverse to just going straight drones right now. I don't have very many of them, but hopefully I should find another one of those events where there's 18 store options and I'll just buy a ton of drones. Uh, let's see. An escort. I will say yes. Give me your delicious fuel. Just put that in a can for me. We can send our crew in or dock and try and rescue. We're always going to try and rescue. Because that hasn't even got like... We have way more health. It. The, I don't think the events have increased the damage they do. So now it's really, really neg negligible. The amount of health damage those do. Ion Storm, not great. Prepare to fight a ship. Okay, but he's trash. He's actually trash? So we we sit we sit here all day long with the heavy laser. He can't do anything about it. Actually, turn on auto fire because. Okay, so he spent all of his money on engines. We're gonna take out the shields. Okay, so he has three shields, at least. Let's let's try and count how many engines he has. Okay, so he has at least three. So he has guaranteed two engine. I'm gonna guess three engines. So that it, I don't know how. I think they're always manned. Whether or not they have the max man amount or the minimum man amount, I don't know. So three engines is 15. Then both man. That, I guess that gives him a 25% chance to evade. Or 35, depending on if it's maxed, man. It could be half, so it could just be 30. Uh, three fuel, one drone, 12 scrap. Pretty trash all around, but I will level all my stuff up. <laughs> I can actually power my I need to upgrade engines. My one big folly, I never upgrade the engines. Uh, yes, attack him before he can attack, because I have drones of mass destruction. Being able to attack someone in like the first, what, like two seconds is great. I mean, I can't, well, I can. I 100% can. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. So long as they don't have an anti-drone drone, we're, we're good. We still need to work, we need to get hacking, I think. Hacking will help us get rid of the anti-drone drone because we can uh, cheese it if necessary. Uh, let's see. Find crew for a price. I mean, yeah. I'll have to take this guy <laughs> for $18. Oh, uh, don't vent him into space. Oh, why is there a door there? Okay, we're going to put you into weapons. You're not the best person to put into weapons, but whatever. You're the only person we have. Welcome aboard, Ricky. Upgrade the reactor by one. Also excellent. Now, if I could just win the lottery, I'd be able to get my uh, my engines up off of one. Intervene to defend the outpost. Anti-drone drone. Well, anti-combat drone. Whatever. Uh, we'll we'll see how effective it is. Okay, it's pretty effective. <laughs> I had to see. He probably well, uh, he's not gonna survive that at all. Okay. Fine. I, I didn't need him to survive that. It's really just me wondering. And I don't have that many drone parts. I don't have the drone recovery arm, so I shouldn't go all in on drones. As strong as it is, I shouldn't. Cause, like, what happens if I never find any more drone parts? That's not gonna happen. Everyone's gonna just, like, vomit drone parts at me. Except for this guy. He, he gave me nothing. And the outposts. 
At least they gave me fuel. Uh, let's upgrade our engines here. Some chance of avoiding missiles. And within the nebula, we'll attack the ship. Always attack the ship. I'm never gonna buy from the random, uh, like, I, uh, I'm never gonna buy from random black traders because I bought one item for 45 scrap once and they just didn't give me anything. And then I killed them. I didn't even get anywhere near 45 scrap back. So like, why would I ever do that? If I, 45 is a lot of money to be spending on random uh, hobos off in space. If I had a slug, maybe? I think slugs can, you know, read their minds, find out what they're gonna do beforehand, and I can avoid getting attacked. Also, the way, uh, the way weapons work here, when you attack the weapon bay here, it depowers the weapons that would take the longest to fire. So, if you had, say, three weapons that take 10, 15, 20 seconds, respectively, and you depowered it immediately, it's going to go for the 20, then the 15, then the 10. Now that changes depending on if they get fired, because it's not total time, it's how much time they have left. So, since this just fired, even though this fires faster than this, it just fired, so it's not going to be ready for another, you know, 8 seconds or so. So they depower this as opposed to this, because this was almost done. Now it, it gets weird, they'll flip-flop back between these if, like, Ion stuff's happening, if an NG walks in and out, or not an NG, but a Zoltan, because like if a Zoltan walks in and it's, or walks out of the room and somehow something gets depowered for half a second, then they'll try and go to power up a worse weapon. But most of the time, that's what's going to happen. They're going to leave whatever's taking the longest to charge because whatever else has probably already shot once. Right into that room that has absolutely nothing in it. Fine by me. Uh, everything's offline. We'll try and do a little of this. Pull some people. Well, hmm. I guess there was a guy in the in the uh, piloting bay. There is a fire and a hull breach, I think. Though that could be my ship. <laughs> I think about it. I don't know what's happening on my own ship. It's, it's whatever. We got blast doors. We don't have to worry about anything in here spent that room a little bit. Let's get a little toasty in there. Ten scrap. Okay, that's definitely my my ship. It was definitely right there. Okay. And with that, we're done with sector one. These sectors take a really long time when you have plenty of time to go places. Then every ship has, you know, twice as much health. Every fight is twice as long, more or less. Um... I think we're gonna go Slug Nebula? Is that really what we're gonna go with? That seems... I, I really, really hate going Slug. Slugs are always so bad. They're all, their ships are always... Uh, uh, like, generally, Slugs are one system higher in level than you are. So if you're like here, you're really fighting guys here. Which means when you're here, and you'll find slugs with like level 5 shields that no one else can have except for maybe uh, like the fleet you're running away from sometimes. So slugs are really bad in general. I, I do not like fighting slugs, especially without my own slug. There's a chance I could buy one. On the other hand, NGs aren't great. They're gonna have anti-drone drones. Though I do want all these red beacons, but I could go slug, red, green, red, red. Yeah, I should probably do that just for the chance of stopping off at green in case I need health. So we're going slug. Bad of an idea as that is. Slug developed on an ocean planet where the ability to telepathically sense another organism was more important than sight. Okay. Oh, they got supplies. Oh, there's just a store here. That's great. Oh, uh, I think we gotta go defense drone, right? I think we gotta go defense drone. It, it's so important. Like, we don't go uh, defense two. Defense two is actually worse than defense one. Because, like, 
in this, a defense two will shoot down anything, where defense one only shoots down missiles. So if, say, a ship is shooting a volley of two lasers and a missile, defense true, defense two, not true, will shoot down the lasers before the missile because the lasers get there faster, allowing the missile to slip through your defenses because you already have shields to take care of the lasers. You don't really need a defense two unless you're running like. I don't know, four defense twos? <laughs> Regardless, I, I really I don't like defense two. I sell them whenever I get them. They're actively a detriment because you're, you're taking up drone parts, a drone space, and they're not reliably defending you. It's a lot more reliable to have shields and then also a defense one. That is a lot of nebula, huh?